Do another, uh, do another, there's other orcs! I am the spawn, and then we are doing there's other orcs again. And this time, we are still working on, and this time is episode four. <laughs> we'll see how long I can keep up uh, numbering them, but uh, episode four, well, numbering them in speech, not in, in, in recording, not in uh, just title. I'll, I'll keep doing that, that's easy. I do that for everything, but uh, I've been doing that for nine years, over nine years, ten years now, but anyway. By the way, so we're doing Project Eight Game Done, the, the Gemstone Chronicles, and yeah, uh, I made some major prog progress, so the next bell is gonna be a thing, it's not gonna be just a, look at how pretty, the, look how, how pretty these stock assets are. Uh, and, well, I mean, more than stock assets, because I added, also added in the, um, the title screen, which, if you played the demo, I know one of you did, uh, maybe one of you didn't, maybe it's just some random person on Etsy, I uh, know Etsy, but uh, itch.io, so, uh, yeah, thank you, um, but yeah, uh, it's just, uh, well, 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 first off, let's actually play it real quick, and show you what this current build is looking like. We also need you some more planning, and I know he, I know you that if you got this look on that video. Um, but we, we still need to do some planning. I'm gonna actually turn down my speakers because who needs to hear? I don't need who needs to hear this doubly. But yeah, this is the work in progress uh, screen. It's not quite done yet, but uh, it's getting there. The sun is around here somewhere. That's why you can see. Like this is a massive area, like a couple hundred. I still don't know its exact size, I need to figure it out, but it's a couple hundred miles. Uh, no more than a thousand, I don't think, but it's definitely pretty big. As you can see, this has a shadow going this way, that has a shadow going that way, showing how big this is. The, the tree, uh, the forest, the plains of the, of the, of the more civilized area, and the uh, icy part, the desert. I guess that if we should expand to the desert, but maybe not. And you got the uh, brand Magic Car C, which is just insane nonsense. Uh, and then, and yeah, and we also need to build up the. Uh, we also need to build up the. Well, we need to build up, like. Like, like, I want this to be more realistic looking. The, by the way, I do have an itch.io page for this game. For this game. Let me show you that real quick. Just a quick itch.io page I made. Uh, everything is very much in flux. I do have a form thing. I, I, I'd be having a form thing or a common thing, but I decided to go with a form thing. And this is like my default way of, This is like going to be the thing I'm going to have in all my books and stuff. Just, uh... Yeah. The, like the stuff, like, it, it grew from my YouTube descriptions. And uh, my and my other places that I've been posting stuff, like um, freaking uh, Deviant Art, and places, and now it's th this, which this is by far the most default one. I'm just putting it in copy and paste, which I'm going to copy and paste, and I'm putting it in my books and games from now on. So yeah, I mean, like there's cover art for this. I wonder where it went. I mean, you can see it here. I don't know if you can't show any of this, but you can see it there. That's the cover art. It's basically the thing I have there. Uh, the thing I have on the tile page, just well, different. But yeah. But anyway, let's continue. I mean, that's new game. That's new game. New Boot Productions probably presents. Oh yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's the. Uh, it's the. It's the. It's the. It's a storybook thing. I forgot. Yeah, it's a storybook image that I just use as the cover image too. Oh yeah, and very work in progress. Uh, tell me a tale. Long time ago, man, Jerry, this man would leave his fan across the I think this was in the previous demo. Yeah, I'm having issues getting that, getting that image to look right, but I don't want to stay on screen. 
for too long, but I don't want to get to go away too fast either. Uh, I went to a Nightmare Wells, and I think the correct one at the current time. It's the only one with an actual dialogue tree. Up to the tavern. You've heard of this place, I trust. Also, I need to get rid of the of the party members. Uh, for right now. So, Glass, you're here for what to make a name, a legend, be a hero, a villain, change this place. Ah, you're not the first, and I doubt you'd be the last. This ghost only bends to those who are persistent and lucky, and skilled nothing less, nothing more. Uh, last chance, Glass, you had? I just, I, um, and that, like, that, uh, I like this option because, I like this, this option is more for flavor if you, if you wanted, if you wanted a, if you wanted a more curated campaign, if you didn't want to just get spat onto the world at level one, you would, you would not pick, you would not pick this option, so that's your back out option. But if you wanted to go into it, oh yeah, I live for this. Ha, ah, good. Now, now, and by the way, the second option can spit you out back at the, uh, the tile screen. Now, as you may be aware, this region is in crisis. It's a perfect time to enact whatever you want, but you have to earn it. If you really want this, I, I, I bet you are prepared. Now pull me out. Good, now your first mission is easy. You might say a rock tread. Sorry, glass might... <laughs> glass like you might say a milk run. Rock tread because you get rocks in your boots. And you get uh, gyms in your boots everywhere on this freaking place. Which is going to be a thing with the art, because I'm going to... The thing is, I'm going to have to at least have some custom art. One for Steampunk, because I'm using the vanilla map. I'm using the vanilla textures and the vanilla... Well, vanilla tile, tile sets and the vanilla tile sets don't have any steampunk is stuff. And, um... And also the Magic Query is going to be new... It's going to need to be weird, so I'm just going to need... Something for them too. I'm also gonna need terrain for like the battlefield to be more interesting and whatnot. But so I might actually have to. This might not be a dollar. Might not be a dollar. Uh, it might actually be something because I'm gonna have to actually, uh, you know, do, do work. Uh, I'm actually, might actually have to do art to make this uh, whole thing work. So yeah. So if they go on, find the seven factions to take their gems of the coast once once done. Come back here and I'll get a present for you. Come back, local reference. And then you go out here. Uh, well, uh, yeah, you go out. This is the door. And you go out to the Gemstone Coast. This is what it looks like currently. Which we did make this in the last video. You can go through this from both sides, really, but you can't go through the castle from both. Okay, sure, whatever. Actually, this could be a little terrain terrain door that can get you to the other side. Actually, we wouldn't need the uh, thing, and then this and then over here is to get you to the magic curry. This is a slightly harder thing to get to, but uh, you technically you would um, that door should actually pop you out in the in the crystalline in the crystalline uh, free city. But yeah, then we also have other things. Uh, so this is going to be. Oh jeez, this is how uh, this video is gonna be a, a bit more of how you actually do stuff in RPG Maker. Uh, so, how do you make an intro? This you start, you put your player guy in the starting place, uh, in on empty screen, and have a random event be your thing. Text, text, text. Paid intro picture. I, I I still don't like this, but whatever. Which that was that was a bit too fast, at least on my system. So let's say that. Let's go 199. There we go. There is one picture. Uh, like, like, do I want this with the rest of the with the rest of the dialogue, or do I want a separate image? Because it does have it does have. It, it does have an Easter egg in it if you were to take if you were to take a screenshot of it uh, and and read it, but uh, yeah, like, it's supposed to be like thematically fading in and then fading out, and then it has some extra 
dialogue and there is some extra text on the actual book. It's, it's supposed to be a book. Uh, I'm going to have to work on it harder, but yeah. And this is all the intro dialogue. And then spit you out. And then control switches will start on. Uh, these are general things. These are things that allow you to change how the to change how events work based on what kind of start you have. So we got the wheel start. It's the control switch. We got wheel wheel start on. Change transparency so you don't see the character. Uh, the transfer player to tavern, which we'll go there now. Let's go change it. Oh no, I want I want my changes to stay. Thank you. Go to tavern. How they go click on this thing? Uh, which you got? Which everything, everything that's not a map is a ter is an event in it's an event or player in uh, in RPG Maker. And this one is only activated with wheel start. So we'll start and then we'll main. Uh, so basically, we go away and go back to wheel main. Uh, so we'll I have wheel main. There is, I make sure I don't feel the best in the world, but I have to record this anyway. But yeah, so I have will start for, and this is me trying to remember what, what I was doing. I have will start to activate this one, to activate the intro dialogue, and will main, and then the intro dialogue switches to will main. So you can, uh, so it has the normal stuff. The normal tab, normal campaign start for ta for the tavern, and just normal state of the tavern. And they should will will main on, will start off after you get sped out. Need more info. More comic hunger jokes, uh, lore, and and then here's some extra stuff you need to know. We'll check out. We'll check this out later. And this is, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit proud of this one. Hack and slash, if that don't work, you can use, use the mental skills. Fail, explore, get help. Conquer, win. E-H-C, like 4X. Fail, steal, return only when you're over leveled. That always works. Ah, uh, yes. How did I change? This is good, because I don't know why I changed. But yeah. Huh. Uh, now we gotta go to planning because we got we now we gotta decide. Now you've seen now you got seen like the little intro bit. Uh, that's why I have worked on so far. I wanted to make more progress, but I just didn't have time. I, I didn't have time. I was I didn't have time to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to take a break because I I do not feel good right now. I feel terrible. I mean, I need to take my uh, medicine. I don't know. I probably need to take my medicine. Or I just don't feel good for not because I'm me. But anyway, me being sickly. But anyway, if choice of multiple starts instantly lead to a story. That so far is true. Now the issue, I can issue is since this is a project getting done, we have not really scope creep because I can do this. I know I know what I can do in RPG Maker un without having to code. The because I played so many I played so many RPG Maker games. The issue is the issue is what can I get done in a reasonable amount of time? Now the Gemstone Chronicles might have been a bad idea. Why? Because it's uh, actually a really good setting. I don't want to waste on just something on uh, something simple like a project you game done. I would probably want to actually do a lot of it and get and get it really nice and have a really nice. I, I can't feel terrible and have a really really nice game. Because I can't I can't do anything simple with a with a with a good IP. I can, however. Oh, well, I mean, there, there, are, I have two other settings I can use for project, for project, for our project game done, get game done, or for a, or for a, uh, or for a project game done. I, oh, for this, for this project game done, or for another project game done. 
And those are a, a setting where you got a wizard and a hat, and they go adventuring. Uh, that's all the setting. It, it's just fantasy land, wizard and hat go adventuring. That would be uber simple to do because it's a wizard and a hat. What do what more do you want? Uh, it wouldn't require me having to do any assets. That would be a fantastic game done. But the issue is, it's also tied to a book. Uh, I mean, oh, I mean, the Gemstone Chronicles is not tied to a book. It's actually tied to a game. It's a, it's just the setting it's been for this. Hmm. And then you got. And then you got another one, which is uh, which is basically one of the inspirations for the Gemstone for the Gemstone Coast setting and it's basically just like I, it's, I call it like the seven continent continent world as just a running title but it's essentially you got major you got major races and they're all come and they're all recently start expanding from their continents and they're and they're going to a central continent where the humans are who are in normal medieval society and things go topsy-turvy when the when the medi when the medieval Europeans are getting colonized by fantasy races. Uh, yeah, but it's essentially reverse colonization, if you want to say it like that. And that's just interesting concept. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not quite sure what I would do in RPG Maker with that though. Again, Gemstone Coast works in RPG Maker in a way. The overall we made in the second episode was we made it mainly to see if everything could fit in a single map with the Gemstone Coast, and everything could, which is actually pretty interesting. But yeah. However, I do also have the H.IL page, so I need to get this working. Mm. So it does make me kind of locked in. Again, decisions, decisions, decisions. That's probably gonna be the name of the. That's probably gonna be the. But that's probably gonna be the quote title, the subtitle for this uh, video. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I could just do all three in this series, all this perfect game done series. And see whichever whichever wins first. Indecision is a decision. Uh, we're indecisively deciding on a decision. Decisively. Uh, so yeah. And they all could be tied with the tap. They could all be tied to the tavern. And then we just have Project Game that just become bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, with multiple titles, with the same overall start because they're told not Project Maker, who cares? Uh, and I always, and I've always kind of fantasized the idea of essentially what, essentially what uh, DCS is doing with DCS World or Halo Master Collection or really anything that just puts a lot of different stuff into one game. That would be an interesting thing that Project Geekum done where you get the where where the tavern is your is your is your chapter one. Ta the tavern is your center is your starting location and you go exploring. And then you could oh my oh this is Okay, and you could go ex be more tra be like more like a traditional tabletop RPG, and the whole point of these settings, uh, where you can go from where you can go from uh, you can go from the Gemstone Coast, then travel to the Seven Continent World. And the, and you could, but the issue is, uh, well, 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 we couldn't use the wizard, uh, because the wizard and his hat, uh, is not is not very open to just free from nature.
Hmm, decisions, decisions again. Um, well, I, well, well, let's do this, okay. I mean, to be fair, well, the wizard is the wizard. Gotta stretch. Um, the, the wizard. His story isn't written because it's not really tied to a novel. The intro is tied to a novel, where the wizard's hanging out in his in his in his uh, wizard's tower, uh, and he noticed this and knows this this and he noticed this meteor falling onto uh, falling onto a town. He teleports over there. He saves the town by doing something with the meteor, causing it to crash somewhere else or just explode, do an airburst. Uh, and then that sets off the whole, whole adventure. Very more normal storytelling technique, the hero's journey, than with than what I usually do. I mean, not like the wizard isn't. I mean, the wizard is a level ten. Uh, uh, that's also going to be a, a, a little thorn. That's going to be a, a bit of an issue. Is the wizard? You got everything that when, when you start. So how are you going to really? Uh, how are you going to really? Uh, tell how are you going to make a simple RPG when the wizard gets oh, when the wizard is a level ten already? Uh, that's going to be a bit of an issue unless you were doing it from scratch. Of course, you can if you start doing it from scratch, but it, I'm not doing this from scratch. I have a doing this RPG maker. So yeah, yeah, I think I think we stick for I think we stick with Gemstone Chronicles for right now. That was a, a good that was a good honest good first choice. Um, so yeah. And, and I don't think we do, and nothing, uh, I don't much add to this section, I'll think about it. Okay, let's uh, let's get into this and start working. So that'll be a that'll be a video. So be right back. All right. So I, I decided and I decided now in editing, uh, do I show you the title screen image because I didn't show you that before. But also uh, to give you a, a proper sign off as these are now proper episodes um, when I port them. So if I part them in the middle of a session. Session quotation marks. Uh, I guess not really a session because it's an artsy uh, game development session. A game development session. Uh, I will uh, do an intro and outro. So you'll see an intro after this bit. Uh, so you see an intro next week's episode, and now I have two up. Now I have two weeks of backlog. Fantastic! Because I'm about I'm going to post episode three tomorrow. So, yeah, uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching. This video means a lot to me. It also means a lot to me if you check out the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as various ways to check out, uh, such as the various ways for this channel, which, of course, best ways for this channel for watching these videos, future content reproduce, and sharing your friends who list you, and anyone list you. Alright, that'll be it for, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I guess, see you! Oh, and one last thing is, in case I didn't mention an upcoming episode or this one. Yeah, uh, about the art that you see on screen, it is very, very work in progress. A very, 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 very work in progress. I do plan on adding a lot more. Uh, like this is like the more realistic view and the, more tour and the game cover is more touristy map, as I've been calling it. So it's I'm like a more artsy version of this. And yeah, and I probably will do more arts too, an art for each region. Uh, at least, like, if I, if, if I do custom art for this game, uh, it's either going to be all of it or some of it. And it, uh, I'm playing, uh, well, like, apparently the minimum is going to be just these screens because these are easy to implement and easy for me to make. But, uh, uh but at most I can play uh, tile sets and characters and everything. 
Uh, but we'll see when we'll see it. Uh, again, it could be the... It could be like my card game where I don't do enough art... While, while, while I get stuck on the art part. Because I'm very consistent with my pixel art. Not... Not, not Mickey. I'm actually very consistent with style. I'm not very... The issue is I'm not consistent with... Uh, the issue is I'm not consistent with the... Um, doing and getting it done. I like my girlfriend who's actually a professional artist and has been for a couple of years. However, she does have the benefits of going to uh, going to college uh, for art, so she has you know contacts and learning how to do art for as a business. Whereas I don't have that. Uh, she also teach me that stuff when uh, we finally get together because uh, we've only uh, known each other through the internet, and that's about it for right now. And that's a quotation marks, uh, and that's about it for right now. So yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm still very much sussing out what uh, what Green and Blue as a business actually is, uh, and our practices and policies and whatnot. That's very off the cuff in the moment, and I have some failures, but uh, already. But you know, it, it's it's as it is. Uh, yeah, so that'd be our first video. Thanks for watching. Uh, that'd be our first video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching this video. When we lost, we lost. You can check out the rest of the stuff in the description below, such as the rest for support this channel. Watch course space space course channels, but watch. I already said that. And um, yeah, that'll be our first video. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we can get this out there soon. I, I don't know if I said this already, but I, I, don't, I might need to raise the price and they give him a dollar if it's going to have custom art in it. If it just has literally just stills that I pop up every now and then, just to, so, you don't not, so you're not staring at black, yeah, no, that's not going to be costing more than a dollar. But if I start adding towel sets and characters, that's going to raise the price from a dollar. dollar is basically what I, what me, me just using just a ton of stock assets. So yeah. But anyway, that be so. Thanks for watching. And I guess... See you in a second.